little skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skelly here, and welcome back to another Getting to Know Me. So this is the final set of questions for this Getting to Know Me site. Um, I am definitely going to find another one because I am going to try and let this playlist live as long as I can. So we are doing 90 through 100. Let's go. What's the most interesting thing you can see out of your office or kitchen window? Out of my kitchen? I mean, I don't typically have an office. This is my bedroom. But out of my kitchen window... I used to, oh my god, okay, so for, for now, uh, what I can see out of my own kitchen window is like my garden and my neighbors, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> Little story, in the house I lived in before this, we had a window that was in front of our uh, sink that, you know, we washed dishes in and shit, and there was one spring where I don't think I was working at the time, I don't know what was going on around this time, but I don't think I was working and I don't think I was in school because we were like on break or something. And my dad's like, hey, Mandy, come downstairs, come downstairs. I was like, well, what the hell's going on? So I go downstairs, and I see a little nest with eggs in it. And I was like, oh, my God. So now we have the problem of keeping my dog, like, away from this palm tree. So we always had to keep an eye on her when she went outside. Over, like, the next month, we watched this mom sit on the eggs. We watched them hatch. We watched the kid. We watched the little hatchlings grow and fly off and it was oh that was the most amazing experience ever it's definitely a once in a lifetime thing so I was so happy I actually got to experience it I so wish I'd like taken pictures or at least gotten a video or something I feel like that would have been so beautiful but anyways on a scale of one to ten how funny would you say you are I say I have my moments of being funny but I also make like really cringy ass jokes so I think I would say I'm probably like a six or a seven just depending on the day where do you see yourself in 10 years? I see myself in a home with hubby, with my career kind of, you know, starting out and hopefully my two kids. Uh, what was your first job? My first job ever was at Target as a cashier and it was during um, peak season. If you could join any past or current music group, which would you want to join? I would want to be the first female member of Fall Out Boy. You know, just, I know it's like Fallout Boy, but I would love to be part of it. How many languages do you speak? I speak English, and I, I speak broken Spanish. <laughs> what is your favorite family holiday tradition? On Christmas Eve, we go to my uh, dad's side of the family, and Christmas Day, we go to my mom's. And typically on Christmas Eve, we end up staying like well past midnight, so we get to kind of celebrate Christmas with my dad's side too, like once it first hits. Who is the most intelligent person you know? That would be between my dad and Harley Baby's hubby. If you had to describe yourself as an animal, which one would it be? I've always said I would describe myself as a butterfly because I'm very delicate. However, I feel like that's really inaccurate because I look delicate and I can act delicate and I can be delicate, but if you push the wrong button, I can also be very fierce. So I would maybe say like, we'll go with a spider, small, and in my opinion, adorable, but they can be deadly. Or maybe a snake, something like that. What is one thing you will never do again? I will never, ever, 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 in all my years, ever watch Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark again. Even though I, I know there's a sequel coming out because the way that the last movie ended, there was definitely going to be a sequel. But I vowed I would never watch that movie again, even though it's been so tempting. And I also promised myself I would never eat an edible again. And hopefully at the time of this recording, when it's released, I have hopefully kept to that. <laughs> who knows you best? That would be between, well, it's three people who know me best. Harley Baby, Harley Baby's hubby, and my hubby. They all know me the best because they're the ones that I feel like I can trust the most with who I am and not what's wrong with me, just feel like with, with me being me. I feel like I can trust them the most. But anyways, I thank y'all so much for watching. Um, again, I'm going to try and find another website because I want to keep this going. Um, if you want to answer any of these questions for yourself, please let me know in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. And I love you guys.